In this video, we are going to solve the system of equations using Cramer's rule. So they have given us a set of equations consisting three equations. So in the solution, we will write down what is given. They have given a system of simultaneous equations. If you look at the three equations, we can see that both the terms involving variable as well as constant are present in the left hand side of the equations. So what we are going to do is we are going to transfer all the constant terms to the right hand side of the equation. Let us do. Now if we transfer positive 1 from the left hand side to the right hand side its sign will change. So we will have negative 1. If we transfer minus 2 from the left hand side to the right hand side its sign will change and we have positive 2. In the same way if we transfer the term minus 4 from the left hand side to the right hand side we have positive 4. The given system of simultaneous equations consists of three equations and three variables. The variables are x, y and z. However, if we look at the first equation and the third equation, we can see that the first equation contain only two variables and the third equation also contain only two variables. In the first and third equation, we need to check which variable is missing and we need to add it to the equation with the coefficient 0 attached to it. In the first equation, we can see that the second variable y is missing. So we are going to add the variable y on the first equation with 0 as its coefficient. In the third equation, we can see that the first variable is missing. So we are going to add the first variable x with 0 attached to it as its coefficient. After doing this, we can see that all the three equations has three variables. Now zero times a variable will yield zero itself. If we simplify the first equation, we will get its original equation. Similarly, if we simplify the third equation, we will get its original equation. The idea behind doing this is to make it easy to arrange the set of equations in matrix form. Now the first matrix is a coefficient matrix. Let us write down the coefficient of the given set of equations. The coefficients are minus 1, 0, 3, 2, minus 1, minus 4, 0, 1, 2. The variables are x, y and z. The constant terms are minus 1, 2 and 4. Let us name the coefficient matrix, the variable vector and constant term vector by A, X and D. Now we are going to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix A. Now the determinant is found by taking the minus of the elements present in the first row by taking into consideration its positional sign. Let us do. Next, in order to find the value of the first variable x, we need to replace the elements present in the first column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector. In order to find 
the value of the second variable y we need to replace the elements present in the second column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector in order to find the value of the third variable z we need to replace the elements present in the third column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector now we need to find the determinant of the matrix a1 a2 and a3 let us first find the determinant of the matrix a1 next we need to find the determinant of matrix a2 next we need to find the determinant of matrix a3 so we have completed finding the determinant of matrix a3 now in order to find the first variable we need to divide the determinant of matrix a1 by the determinant of the coefficient matrix the determinant of matrix a1 is 16 let us substitute the determinant of the coefficient matrix is 4 next in order to obtain the value of the third variable z we need to divide the determinant of the matrix a3 by the determinant of the coefficient matrix the value of the determinant of matrix a3 is 4 by cancelling we have 4 times 1 4 times 4 4 times 1 4 times 2 4 times 1 4 times 1 so finally 4 divided by 1 is 4 2 divided by 1 is 2 1 divided by 1 is 1 finally we will write down therefore the value of x is 4 y is 2 and z is 1 if you substitute the value of x y and z in the given system of simultaneous equation we will find that the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side in this manner a common solution of all the variables is found out for each equation in the set of simultaneous equations